Hi everyone, this is Francisco. So I came up with an idea. I posted it online, but what I attempted to, but somehow my video got interrupted. So therefore, I wasn't able to upload it. So... I went to YouTube. No. That was on YouTube. But then today I... Not, Recorded that video yesterday, but today I created this Instagram post and it's a square rectangle like a square and it has like a bunch of little dots which represent the suction cups and it's supposed to be for window cleaning because once those suction cups have contact with the glass and all the air escapes or goes out of the suction cups, it'll stay tight against the glass. I'm assuming, and I'm assuming it won't come apart. So it has to be tested. And then that scrubbing motion will be enhanced naturally free energy it'll create it, it's free energy because yeah you still have to move move it around but you don't have to like push on the glass to do that you know and sometimes uh for like window cleaners The biggest issue is, you know, removing stubborn stains or paint off, you know, the, the glass and all that. So, you know, by doing this, it will, you know, alle alleviate that somewhat to a certain extent, certain degree. Because there is drill, the drill units with the scrubbers and the spins to remove hard water spots, right? If only we can create that, but leaving it, leaving it attached to the glass, then that would be great. That would be something, I would invest in that for like the, for window cleaning, especially the robot ones. There is the robot 
window cleaners. So if you guys never thought about buying the robot window cleaners, I would recommend them to people. And I don't know how they function. I don't know how they work other than I think I seen they somehow are attached to the glass and I think they're elect electrical powered or electrically powered. And I also don't know what type of chemical it dispenses out, you know, that it throws out to clean the window effectively. So we all know, especially like on YouTube, I seen a lot of a lot of videos on how to remove hard water spots. So I tried it. White distilled vinegar, Dawn dish soap. and baking soda you know i've tried a bunch of other stuff but the acid in the white distilled vinegar you know after leaving it and doing or performing multiple <sighs> sessions of like an hour, one hour, like sequences or se sequels. I don't know the word, but you just do that for like every hour. And I was disappointed because I seen all these YouTube videos, but you have to be patient. And after like the fifth or sixth one, it comes off. And then now I just buy chemicals and I just keep doing it. And obviously the more buildup they are with this junk, is going to require a little bit more patience. But it would be awesome if these robots somehow claimed that they would remove the hard water spots and, and also keeping that chemical active and, you know, agitating the glass that will also be great and it and then if it introduced some of the solution or even white distilled vinegar like through the whole night let's say that then i believe a lot of window cleaners would be able to sell these units and existing businesses out there that are trying to help people to maintain their glass, showers, whatever, etc. I think that the consumers, people like us, would purchase them just based on those facts. Right? Just based on those facts. <sighs> Especially like just leaving it there. You don't have to do anything. And it would just do its thing. And I think at late in the night it would be good because there's no sun. And the sun heats up the glass. It causes the glass to lose its water content. So the water vapor, it vaporizes, you know? So I guess it could be good, 
But if it is, you know, if he is required, then he can be implemented or introduced so it could heat up the glass. But that that would be for like professionals to like look into and and to investigate. Um, but anyway, I honestly I just got sidetracked. I wasn't even trying to say all that. I, I honestly and truly didn't. I was just trying to talk about my scrubber idea. Um, that I just thought about. But it would be great for a window cleaner and also for vehicles. Vehicles is also a good one because some people do get hard water spots on their glass, on their vehicles. Um, even with this suction cup thing, you know, and then just moving it. I, because I was like scrubbing the glass and I'm just going like this all day long i'm like i'm scrubbing you know or if i'm focusing on a little spot i'm like scrubbing that spot if i'm focusing on the whole glass i'm going like this you know so i was thinking if somehow we can make something with the battery kind of like the drill but the drill uh, yeah, the power drill is like moving. I have a drill somewhere. I don't know where it's at, but it's moving. But and it's something that's cert, like a little, you know, disc with scrubbers, and that would work. But you know, it, it has its pros and cons, and I don't think a lot of window cleaners would want to use that I think it'll be silly to use it especially if there's no hard water spots but I can honestly say that if somehow there is a scrub that just vibrated so you know you would just hold it and it would do the scrubbing for you as you're moving it. That would be super cool. So, or even like a little knob, you know, just holding it and just taking your time. You know, even if we gave it like each little space, like a second or two, as it's, you know, vibrating violently, you know, so it's, it's vibrating, but you're just moving it slowly. So what would you rather do? This motion or this motion? And imagine doing that a thousand windows. <sighs> so anyway, I thought, well, the battery on this machine will probably be good, especially if you get connected because the battery, it'll probably go out, run out. Even in four hours, it'll probably be, it'll probably be good for a window cleaner. A window cleaner will probably just swap out the batteries. But yeah, that's probably the best approach, you know, especially up in the ladder. But, um, I really don't know about all this. Like, I'm just thinking about all this. But then that's how I thought about the the little scrubber 
suppy uh, the suppy cup fucking suction cup you know it getting attached to their glass and instead of you pushing that you know put putting pressure on the glass and having to clean it I think we weren't created for all that. You know, as God's children, we were called for greater things. I mean, we are we are sons and daughters of the king. Whether you are wealthy or poor, doesn't matter. If you believe in the Bible, then you are a child of God. And although we're not on that level yet, I think that's how we, I, I think that's what it means when the Bible says that we fell from grace. We, we went from a state of resting in God's love and relying and depend or having our full dependence on, on God, our full dependence upon God or on God, that to the point where we separated ourselves from God somehow, because I don't know, you know, the story of Genesis, I do know it, but we don't know every little detail. And we're the ones that did that. Right? But now we're getting smarter here. So these little robots, machines, anything with that has to do with power, electricity, batteries. Think about all this stuff. Like I go to the store, to the DMV, all kinds of places, and everything has a like a battery in it. They have sensors. So if you can think about stuff like that for inventions, that's all you really need right there. So all they do, as soon as you put the paper, Right here, it has a little sensor, and it automatically knows to self, you know, for it to go down, for, for it to self go down, right? I'm trying to stay focused here. Because I can also see like, you know, the scrubber thing. It's like a sober sponge. But the handle, I was thinking like, well, what if it had like a water bottle? Where it could like, you know, allow some of the chemical, you know, soapy water to go into it, but I think that'll be doing way too much. But maybe not, maybe not. We just never know. I mean, if it really helps someone to make their job easier, less hassle, I mean, because inside, how much water do you, you know, do you really need? So 
in the handle is probably sufficient, right? Especially if you're using water from, from a water bottle, we know 35 bottles of water for $5, for something, three something around there, right? So if you're using purified water, less chances of streaks, you're only using a few drops of Dawn dish soap or whatever you're using, just enough for the for the wand to to be able to slide on that glass. Especially considering the fact, or considering how much money the window cleaner makes, a gallon for a dollar of distilled water. Not bad. Great business investment and helping the economy out. Big thumbs up, right? Um, yeah, but I, I'm actually surprised that I came up with that idea about the window cleaning robot to remove hard water spots. Because think about it. How much does it cost? for one window, for one piece of glass. It costs a lot of fucking money. And excuse me for my language, but it costs a lot of money, right? One window costs a lot of money. So if you invest in a robot that somehow, I don't know how they work, I can look it up. Window cleaning. I'll say bots. I'll search with the words B O T S bots. And I'm just going to look it into the images and I don't know. Best window cleaning roll bots of 2021. I really don't know how these things get stuck on the on the glass. Maybe I need to look at a diagram. This should give me a lot of ideas. Yeah, they have one, they have one for sale on, on Amazon. It's a water spray. It's spraying water, it's, it's a water spraying machine, but you guys, what's stopping you guys from putting, you know, white distilled vinegar, nothing. As a matter of fact, there's YouTube videos on how you guys can clean like coffee makers 
with white distilled vinegar. So white distilled vinegar will not ruin your investment. It will actually, you know, help it. So there's an adhesion pad, elevation structure, suction system. Ooh, so that's what it is. There's some form of suction system and locomotive mechanism, mechanism. I mean, these guys are geniuses. I mean, these are the guys to go, you know, work with. I wish I was able to work with these guys. But I already have a job. So, sorry. This is awesome because think about it. Oh my God. Like we're sending rovers to Mars, you know, and I'm kind of getting distracted here and off topic, but not really because it's, it's talking about the robots, you know, and they're, they have stuff like this, our inventions that we invent, they have in the rover, or in the rovers, they have microphones, they have cameras, it has a bunch of stuff. drills, you know, they drill into the rocks or with a laser, however they do it. I mean, you know, we're, we're using our inventions over there. So there's a cleaning pad. Um, they're using lithium batteries or battery. It says battery. It says can power the vacuum pump. Vacuum pump for 30 minutes in the event of power loss. Squeegee. Huh. Okay, so it has a scrubber and it has a squeegee. So this this thing is there's different stages. It's like us when we go to to school, we're born five years later, we go we enter elementary school, right? unless there's some form of preschool and all that other stuff. And then, you know, all the way to graduation and whatever else is the same thing here. First, there's the cleaning pad area and then the squeegee and a bunch of other stuff. And it all works together to get that window clean. I think it's awesome. But anyway, it says that there's some form of 
Outer ring detects the loss of suction. Inner ring holds the wind bot to window. Inner ring, which is inner ring. I don't really know like how this really works, but I can do some research. It's, the, it's called the capsule assembly. And this is actually interesting because um, well, I was thinking about some other stuff, but I'm not going to talk about that. It's more for like military stuff. And I'm not going to get into that. Not in this video anyway. But, oh yeah, that, it had to do something with, um, with the suction, right, that I was talking about. So, yeah, so, something like that for, um, and then also for fast, faster, transportation in case of emergency and stuff like that. But I'm not going to get into that. But I guess in my, I can create a different video. And like any invention could be used for good or evil. So it could be used for good or evil. It could be used for to help people or to kill the bad people. Let's just put it that way. Thank God we're not the bad guys, right? None of us in the world. We're all good guys. Praise God, praise God. Praise God for his forgiveness, his love. Inner ring. I'm trying to figure out how this works. This is so confusing. I see a magnetic window cleaner, the glider, D3, AFC, single or double glaze, window. Adjustable magnet for control indoor. So apparently, there has, well, there's this thing that I'm looking at real quick. It has to do with um, this scrubber with magnet. With a magnet. Oh, it's two sided, I'm assuming. Yep. Is two sided. For hard to reach windows, you can count on us. How awesome. There's so many cool little ideas out there. I think it's cute. You know, but that's what the sharks say too. Oh, look at these cute little fish. Fishy, fishy, fishy. But they're not afraid to crush us. Like Mr. Wonderful said, this crush us like cockroaches, like the cockroaches that we are. You know, something like that. 
like the cockroaches that we are, like the cockroach that I am, the peasant. It was a joke, by the way. Me being a peasant. But some of you might agree. Well, disagree now. But agreed, you know, previously. Oh my God, this is one complete mindfuck, isn't it? Anyways, so apparently there's some form of vacuum. I didn't see any suction cups. And the suction cups will actually hold they'll hold what my idea is on YouTube. Unless is this video streaming live. Unless is this it is. I just heard my voice. What the cool. Now that was fast. My video is already on YouTube. Boom. Like that. On videos on Google. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See how God works? We can't underestimate. Underestimate, underestimate, underestimate the power of God and what he's capable of doing. You know, I just feel like talking about that other idea. Well, anyway, I'll just share it. You know, I was saying it was like military stuff, and it is. Well, anyway, like, imagine this is a completely different idea. Imagine like a tall building or like a house. And you know that like the gutters? Well, I was thinking, what if there was some like a wheel that was magnet, that had a magnet, but that can roll. So as it's rolling, it's climbing. So imagine how fast it can go up a building. That's like a VIP elevator. You're up on top of that building like nothing. You don't even need an airplane, but in order for this to work, there would there there will there there on the building there would need to be some form of like a metal sheet going from the bottom all the way up. Or else how else will this wheel Go up there. See what I'm saying? And just think about all the other possibilities. So I said military, right? Well, sending some grenades up there. Like nothing. Eliminate the threat. Boom. Done. But then who's going to want to invest in the wheel? And how long will the wheel get there instead of like Air Force? So I don't know. Maybe it's not a great idea. But a bomb? A grenade? On a disc? That rolls? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was a stupid idea. But it, it, it's also, like I was saying, it's a good way to 
you know, stop evil. But at the same time, it's good for people. It's also great for people. Thank you, Google. It's also, um, you know, World Wide Web. It's also great for people who are injured, like in a building, and they need quick, immediate response, you know, type or form of help without having to go into the building and having to use the elevator that civilians are using. They're busy going up and down. You know, in the streets, when there's an emergency, what happens? There, there is a, the ambulance, right? The ambulance, the sirens, the sirens, like the alarm. When, I don't know how it is in the inside of a building, there is an alarm, you know, the fire alarm, but what if there's another, like another form of um, emergency, like someone's injured on the top floor and all these people are trying to use the elevators, how do they get notified? You know, or do they get, do, do the, you know, um, paramedics get, you know, do they bypass all these civilians, all these people to allow the paramedics to go up computer, computer electronically or digitally? So therefore, I was thinking about this idea with that thing just going up and having some, you know, some form of balconies for these, for this thing to just like, it's kind of like a magnet. So you go up, it'll go up and then instantly it'll stabilize and then be right there. Kind of like, you know, a magnetic ball. And as soon as you go up or on any surface, it will self-align eventually, boom. Something like that. And I'm drinking some apple juice. Anyway, so. You know, because I've seen some, some window cleaners. You know, they're cleaning these, these skyscrapers and they're on a rope. So technically, you know, they can go on a, on these wheels on the side of the building or something, I don't know, or in the center with a platform that will go up or down that that will be thought of or thought about before the construction of the building. So this will be for futuristic model buildings, not what, what is out there right now. For this type of cons or these type of for these type of concepts, you know, um, and th they could also be, you know, for for cleaning windows, you know, it's kind of like a three D printer, a three D printer. It goes up, and it and they could do its thing. And it's printing and printing and printing or doing whatever it's doing. Think about that for a building. It's that simple.
because yeah sure these guys that are cleaning the windows out there they might they might love their job but and they might get angry at this whole idea but at the same time it's like why would they get angry i mean this is helping people and this will prevent you know people from getting hurt after we think about it like all the possibilities through the internet and we discuss it with one another like by that i mean with each other through the internet professionals not irresponsible people like myself i'm kind of responsible but not entirely i forget a lot of things i'm just surprised i haven't forgot to like not wipe my ass after five minutes in the shitter I mean, just getting up and walking out of the restroom. Now, that would be scary. That, I would be afraid for my, for myself and other people. Like, how does that even happen? How would that even happen? That would be scary for me. But anyway... Luckily, that's, I, I don't forget like that. But I forget. And I'm so slow. I'm so slow. But what can I do? You know, I, I can beat myself up over it. Because I can, I can be myself over, you know, myself over. I can be myself like over the head, over all this, but I'm not, you know, because there's been some, sometimes when I forgot stuff where it was important and I regret forgetting, like how can, you know, like how can you even forget Francisco? So it's like attacking me mentally, but, you know, uh, there's always like another time, there's always tomorrow. And, you know, like if that doesn't work out, like there's other opportunities, but and then it sucks though, because like not every single opportunity arises itself you know, like every day, you know, so like, you know, some of these are rare, you know, um, some of these are rare, like, instances, and Okay, I told one of my friends that, you know, for us to go out and eat or something, I forgot. <laughs> like, how the fuck do you forget that type of shit, you know? Oh my God. But <sighs> Jesus. My God, there's so many inventions out there. It's ridiculous. Just look at this stuff. And I'm I searched suction cups, scrubber, idea, and mentioning for cleaning smooth surfaces. So, 
Yes, think about that. Think about the the suction cup things. But I don't know. Maybe it's not the great the like the best greatest idea. But Yeah, I think these cleaning robots, oh my god. That's definitely what everyone will be buying or at least renting. Like remember going to for me it was Stater Brothers. Now Home Depot, Lowe's. Well before, remember? They would they would rent the carpet cleaners. The rug doctor. And basically it was just a machine to you know clean the house carpets. And they would sell the chemical and all that stuff, all the chemicals and stuff. Um so if anything, maybe these window cleaning robots could be rented out for people who have hard water issues, problems, concerns, or whatever. And then there's Google Lens. So maybe you'll be able to take a picture prior to you even going and renting it so that the Google Lens can tell you if it's like water condensation within the double pane window or windows, or if it's just, it, in fact, hard water buildup, calcium buildup. Soap scum, whatever it might be. You know, I just I just thought about an idea. Like the shower glass doors, you know how it has that glaze look to it? Well, that's the only reason why we have fucking, sorry. That's the only reason why we have freaking curtains, right? So we can have some form of privacy. So what if? You know, you can get it to that, that glaze. I think I'm just hungry now. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> the, um, you know, that privacy, the <laughs> privacy window. <laughs> I think that would be super cool. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about now. I think I'm making this shit up. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not making it up. Maybe, fuck, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. <laughs> oh, shit. Um... I mean, oh shoot, oh shoot. <laughs> now we now we know when someone is, you know, cursing indirectly, you know, in disguise on the low key. And when they're saying, oh shoot, it's actually, you know, some other word.
Anyway, so I was just thinking, I was just thinking, like, how would that even work, you know? Since a, a curtain wouldn't be required. It would be more... Of, electric, of an electrical curtain? Or would it be magnets? Or maybe magnets that are attracted to some shavings, metal shavings? Anything that could be that will be attracted to the magnet. I mean, it's all electrical stuff, right? Or could it be a fluid? A fluid would be a good one, especially if the fluid is somehow contained. So you push a button and all the fluid would just go somewhere. So you can see outside. You push another button and the liquid will go in there. You won't be able to see out, and no one will be able to see in. Unless you have it at a certain opacity, like window tinting. That's a lot of experimenting to do. A lot of fun, right? A lot of fun. And fuck it, why not, like, you know, try all the colors in the world just to see which one works better or the best. You know, because we all have different, you know, eye problems. So Some of us can't really see clearly than others. Others need more of a you know, brighter environment. Others need a darker environment. So that, I guess it will be all dependent on the user, right? So it's, it could be light. Think about the fucking light. I mean, Jesus. Think about G think about the light. Think about the light. That's that's also privacy. Right? Privacy? We all like privacy, right? Yeah, privacy. Anyways, where was I at? I think I'm done with this video. And as much as I would love to just linger around, even if I was just here with my finger up my ass, it would be better than any, than like I guess it would be <laughs> it would be better than than anything for some of you out there, right? Like, yeah, Francisco, do that, you know, just don't go, don't leave us.
you know, but just know that that I love you all. Down deeply. The coldest part of my heart. I don't think there is any cold areas or caverns within my heart with any cold depo mineral deposits or anything like that. I'm just a human, you know? I'm just like one of you, all of you. We all believe the same. But we haven't all been loved the same. I, I've been loved. I, I believe everyone loves me. And I love everyone. At least I try. But that's why we have the, the internet, so we can learn from one another. Because some of us, we just don't know how that love is supposed to look like. Because it's, you know, we all have different experiences. And some of us have had horrible experiences while some of us have had great experiences. I'm not saying that I had horrible experiences. I'm just saying some people have. And for the people that have, they don't understand, you know, how it is to grow up not having those like bad experiences or whatever. So that's why we have the internet and we have to teach each other stuff like that. You know, because I was thinking about that one movie by Snoop Dogg. And movie and it was about I don't know I'm just gonna put hitting woman like in the movie Oh no, not hitting, he slapped her. Slapped. I don't know, but there's a movie and this guy you know, talks crap on on the woman's son. And he's only like five or six years old. And Snoop Dogg, and the actor in the movie, he's playing a role in the, as an actor in the movie. So he's like the guy that met the girl or whatever. So they're together. But he's also like, like a player or a pimp and he does whatever he wants. And for some reason they get in an argument and then like he slaps her, takes her to the room and then like he's literally trying to have sex with her. And then the girl's like, you're really gonna have sex and 
with me or I think she says, are you really going to rape me mm-hmm. in front of my son mm-hmm. or something like that? I forget what the movie's called. But, you know, stuff like that. Some people don't understand what's real, what's fake. Some people might think, oh, so that's how these people are doing it. I mean, it's in the movies, so that that must be the cool thing to do. Some people just don't know the differences. I I think what I'm trying to say is we need to share and record and reenact things that are positive. What we want others to, to do and not on the contrary. We want people to, we, we all want a domino effect of positive things, not fucking negative ones, right? So, anyways, anyways, like, it, it's just, a, it was just a movie, you know, and like, I don't know, maybe it was a horrible example. But some ideas, food for thought. God bless you all.